Hey guys, we just wanted to tell you about our new merch. What? We have new merch? Are you serious? Yeah, and it's so cuddly and adorable. Wait a minute. Do we have unicorns? <laughs> Daisy, of course we don't have unicorns. But we do have snugglers. What? They're adorable. Snugglers are your adorable, squeezy, cuddly friend. I want them, Molly. They're so cute. We also have backpacks and t-shirts. You guys can check it out by going to starsquad.shop. Now it's time to get to the video. Hey, Daisy, what you doing? Well, I'm coming up with a shopping list for Mom. Why are you doing that? Because I don't think she feels good still. Wait, she still doesn't feel good? She's been sick for like 24 hours. She should be better by now. Speaking of, Molly, why don't you take her a bottle of water? That's a great idea. You can finish up the shopping list. Yeah, we're all out of avocados. Ew, avocados! Since you're making the grocery list, why don't you put things like, um, waffles and ice cream, cupcakes! Oh boy, Molly, you'll never get anything healthy. Okay, instead of water, I'm going to take Mom some Gatorade, because I think she might actually really need that. Because when you're sick, you just need electrolytes and stuff. Don't wake her up if she's sleeping, Molly. You're so bossy, Daisy. Bossy, bossy, bossy. They should call her Daisy Bossy. That should be her middle name. Mom? Oh, Molly. Mom, are you still sick? Yeah. Mom, I brought you a Gatorade. No, I can't drink or eat anything. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Mom, I'm starting to get really worried about you. You haven't eaten or drank anything in 24 hours. That's a long time to go without food and water. I know. I don't know what to do. Your dad's away on a business trip, and I just still feel so sick right now. Ugh, just go downstairs, Molly. I need more rest. Okay, Mom. I'll check on you in a few minutes. Oh, my gosh. My mom is still sick. Daisy! 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 Molly, hold on. Okay, we always get the green apples and the red ones. What is it, Molly? Mom, she's she's not any better. Did she drink anything? Like any water or anything? No, she didn't. Oh my gosh, Molly. This isn't good. I know. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know either. Um, Maybe we should give her a few more minutes. She just might me need more rest. Okay, well, let's um watch some TV. Sounds good, Molly. It's pretty cold outside today. I'm not sure I want to go out there. Plus, if Mom needs us, we'll be right here. OMG! <laughs> Look at the frog taking the picture of the dog. That's funny. Um, ooh, Brooke, hi. I've already seen this episode, but it's a good one. Molly, stop munching so loud. I can't even hear the TV. Sorry. I can't help it, but this burrito is so good. Mmm. So delicious. Mmm. Nom, 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 nom. Molly! Okay, I'll just turn up the television. Good idea, because uh, I'm not going to stop eating this burrito. Ugh, I'm so full of burrito. So full of burrito. Molly, I think we should go check on Mom now. Okay, just, just roll me off the couch. Ugh. You shouldn't eat so much, you pig! <laughs> Mom? Mom? How are you feeling, Mom? Oh, my stomach hurts. Oh my gosh, Molly, she's not any better. Maybe she just has to fart. That makes my stomach hurt. <sniffs> Molly! Oh my gosh, maybe I should listen to her stomach. Daisy, you're not a doctor. Girls, just leave me alone. I have to go back to sleep. My stomach hurts so bad. Daisy, can I see you out in the hallway for a minute? Sure, Molly. What is it? I don't. I don't like the look of this. Like, Mom's not getting any better. I think we should call the hospital. That's a good idea, Molly. Let's do it. Nine one one. What's your emergency? Hi. Um. My name is Molly, and my mom is sick. Okay. Where do you live, Molly? I live at one two three Brookhaven Lane. Seriously, that's your address? Yes, I know. It's crazy, right? <laughs> Easy to remember when I was in kindergarten. Molly, get to the point. How is your mom sick, dear? Um, she's had this pain in her stomach for 24 hours. Has she eaten or drank anything? 
No, she hasn't. She just says she can't eat anything. Her stomach hurts and she can't get out of bed. And my dad's on a work trip and it's just me and my sister and we don't know what to do. It sounds like your mom is very sick. I'm going to send an ambulance to your address right away. Um, just hold tight. They'll be there soon. Thank you. Molly, what did they say? They said mom sounds like she's really sick. They're sending an ambulance to take her to the hospital. Oh no, mom. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna tell mom. Mom? Yeah. Mom, I called 911. Why? 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 Because mom, let's face it. You're really sick. Dad's away on a business trip, and I don't know. I just think you need to get checked out by a doctor. An ambulance is coming. Oh, I think you might be right, Molly. <sighs> I'm going to call your grandma. She can come stay with you while I go to the hospital. If she's not too busy. Okay, Mom. She said that Grandma's going to come stay with us if she can. I'm worried about Mom, Molly. I'm worried. It's going to be okay, Daisy. It's going to be okay. Oh my gosh, I hope my mom's gonna be okay. Good luck, mom! Oh, hi, Molly. Grandma, hi! I've had a really stressful day, grandma. Everything's gonna be okay. Grandma's here now, and so is Kitty McKiddums. Come on, let's go inside, Molly. Grandma, <laughs> I, I'm just, don't worry about a thing, Molly. I could make you some cookies. Now, where is Daisy? I'm right here, Grandma! Oh, would you girls like some cookies? I could bake you some. Actually, Grandma, um, can you take us to the park? I have a little bit of cabin fever. Sure, I'd love to take you girls to the park. What do you think, Kitty McKittums? Meow, meow, meow. Kitty McKittums loves that idea. Let's go. Wow, it actually turned out to be a pretty nice day. Yeah, it's really warm out. Come on, Daisy, let's swing on the swings. Whee! Whoa, this is so much fun. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I'm getting dizzy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whee! Oh my gosh. Grandma, did you see that? I almost landed in the fountain. Oh, it's a little too cold to go swimming. <laughs> hey, Grandma, does kitty kittens like swimming? Oh, most cats hate water, Molly. They really hate it. <laughs> Kitty Kittums, you want to go in the fountain? Uh, I'm going to take that as a no. <laughs> Molly, come on. Um, Let's go um down the water slide. Oh, girls, you're not afraid you'll be a little cold. Never, Grandma. Never. <laughs> this is going to be fun. Grandma lets us do so many fun things. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Grandma was right. <laughs> It is too cold to go swimming. Holy guacamole. Daisy, I'm going up the diving board. Whoa, I kind of fell off it. Go for it, Daisy. Oh my gosh, Daisy's going so high in the air, I don't even see her. Da Daisy? Did you guys see her go in the pool? I didn't see her go in the pool. Daisy? Is Daisy up on the tree? Do I have to call the fire department? Molly! <laughs> It shot me all the way over to Starbucks. Holy guacamole. Try again, Daisy. Oh, she's going all the way up into the tree. Oh, she laid into the pool. Molly, why didn't you warn me? It's freezing in here. Huh, I just thought about something. What, your stomach? No, coming to the park is fun, but... <sighs> Mom's at the hospital and I'm worried about her. You're right, Molly. Wait a minute. Is Grandma just trying to distract us from what's going on with Mom? Did she? Did she die? What? Daisy! How could you say that? I'm just wondering, Molly. Oh my gosh. Grandma! Grandma! Oh, Kitty McKittums, they're back. Grandma, <laughs> I'm worried. Oh, Molly, why the sad face? Because we know you're just trying to distract us from what's going on with Mom. Well, um, uh, you're right. I didn't want you girls to worry too much over something you could do nothing about. The doctors and nurses know how to best take care of your mom. 
I'm just worried that we're gonna lose her. She's my mom. I love her. I don't want to lose her. <laughs> oh, girls, at this point, I think the best thing to do would be to head over to the hospital and, and check on how your mom's doing. I think you're right, Grandma. We deserve to know the truth. Yeah, Grandma. Okay, let's walk over to the hospital then. I hope my mom is okay. I really hope my mom is okay. Actually, we can take my car if you want. It's from 1972. It's a classic. Classically ugly. Hey, don't talk about Betsy that way. You named your car, Grandma? I sure did. She is one sweet ride. Wow, wow. See, even Kitty McKinnums thinks so. Grandma, we just had to walk down the block. I have bad hips. I can't walk very far. She must be in one of these rooms, Daisy. Where's the doctor? I don't know. Maybe he's out to lunch or something or dinner. I don't know. Oh my god. Every single room on this floor is empty. I know Grandma said this is the floor she's on. <gasps> Marty! You don't think that our mom died, do you? Oh my gosh. I hope not. Mom! Cat, where did you come from and why are you sitting on my shoulder? <sighs> Anybody lose a cat? Anyone lose a cat? Oh, hello there. How can I help you? And do you know whose cat this is? Uh, yeah, I think it's my grandma's. Kitty McKinnum! Get off the doctor's shoulder! <sighs> well, what can I do for you girls? We're here to see our mom, unless of course she died because she's not in any of these rooms. What is your mom's name? It's Lava. Oh, Laura. Yes, she's in surgery. What? Surgery? Why? Oh, <laughs> no big deal. She's almost done, and I promise when she is, she will feel much, much better. What happened to her? She had this annoying thing in her body called an appendix. Wait, an appendix? That's a part of your body you need, right? Not really. A lot of times I just do surgery on people because the annoying appendix decides to burst or, I don't know, just cause people trouble. Why are we even born with those anyway? I don't know. You're the doctor. Why don't you tell us? Anyway, your mom's appendix burst. Holy guacamole. That's why she had such a bad stomach ache. And now she'll need to eat tons of ice cream to recover. Oh, wow. Can I have my appendix out? I want to eat tons of ice cream. I'm afraid not, Molly. Unless, of course, your appendix decides to be annoying. Anyway, um, she should be wheeled out into her room any minute. And you guys can see her if you're nice and quiet. And you don't steal her ice cream, Molly. Yeah, no stealing her ice cream. Now I've got to go find the owner of this cat. Excuse me. <coughs> Daisy, did you hear that? Mom's going to be okay. Oh my gosh, oh, I'm so relieved. Marley, I think they're wheeling out Mom's stretcher now. It is, Mom. Come on, let's go see her. Mom? Mom? Oh, hey, girls. Mom, why are you talking like that? I just got off of anesthesia. I feel funny. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's not quite awake from her anesthesia from her surgery. Whee! I'm floating in the clouds. It feels nice. <laughs> Mom, you're being silly. Mom, guess what the doctor said? That I'm going to be an angel and fly through the clouds. Or a unicorn. Or maybe a flying hippopotamus. <laughs> Mom, you're saying weird stuff right now. No, she said you can eat lots of ice cream. And you should, because it'll be gentle on your tummy. Are you... Are you being serious right now, Molly? She can eat as much ice cream as she wants? Yeah, you heard the doctor, didn't you? Yeah, I did. I can't believe it. She's lucky. Totally. Ice cream, you say? Can I eat it while I'm floating up in the clouds? Sure, Mom. Anything you want. We're just glad you're A-OK. -okay. <laughs> Kitty McKittums, you're so cute. Aww. Molly, come here, please. Oh, my mom's calling me already. Oh, I don't want to have to set the table and do my homework. I love doing homework. Of course you do, Daisy. You love school. You like to read, Molly. Yeah, but tonight we have math homework. Ugh. Mom, um, can you make us pizza? Oh, I'm sorry, Molly. Uh, I wanted you to come out here because I wanted to tell you 
that dad's going to be watching you tonight while I go to a meeting. What? No. Tonight's pizza night. No. No, that doesn't work for me, Mom. Sorry, Molly. But I have to go to work. I'll see you when I get back, though, okay? No, Mom! Wait, come back! We miss you! Molly, you'll be fine with your dad. Bye! Oh, no! Worst day ever! Hey, <laughs> I can be pretty fun to hang out with, too. So you can, Dad. So you can. Okay, so let's see. Um, I was thinking about making some sauerkraut for dinner. What do you guys think? Is he for real right now? Is he for real? Because if he's for real, um, I just quit. What do you quit, Molly? Being, being, being uh, uh, in this family because, ew, sauerkraut. I can't live here anymore. Sauerkraut's delicious and super good for you. Dad, today is supposed to be pizza night. Pizza? I don't know how to make pizza. I just know how to make sauerkraut. Ah! Ew, it looks disgusting! No, I'm not eating that, Dad. I'm not eating it. Well, I, I, I think you'll really like it. No, I'm watching Brightly Colored Unicorn on our channel. The Brightly Colored Unicorn, the Brightly Colored Unicorn. Molly, are you supposed to be doing homework? Um, no, Dad. Mom lets me watch this for a little bit. Molly, it says here that if you add 2 plus 8, you get 10. Uh-huh, I knew that already. That stuff's for, like, kindergartners. Oh, you're so smart now, are you? You should do your homework. And you should stop pretending that you're mom because you're not, and I don't feel like it. Girls, um, how do we turn on the stove again? Dad! Oh, why did mom have to go? Uh, it's, it's okay, I'll make some delicious dinner. No, I don't want to eat sauerkraut salad. It's supposed to be pizza night. Oh, it seems like I can't do anything right. I just want the girls to like to hang out with me, but I just keep making stuff they don't like, and I don't, I don't... Uh, I just do things differently than their mom, and, and, well, I don't know. How about some pancakes? Does that sound good? Or cookies or something? No, Dad. The only thing that sounds good is pizza. Ay -ay -ay, I guess I'll have to make it. No, don't make pizza. We can have something fun tonight, like sauerkraut salad. Dad, there's nothing fun about that. And besides that, ugh, it makes you stinky. What? What are you talking about? Yeah, don't try to deny it, Dad. You know, a little toot here, a little toot there. Hey! <laughs> That's true, Dad. Okay, here's how you make pizza. First you roll out the dough. First you roll out the dough. And then, of course, you have to put um, your sauce on it, your cheese, your pepperoni, your tomatoes if you want those. And, Dad, what are you doing? Dad, I'm trying to use the oven! Dad, my pizza's gonna be stale now! Ugh! Oh, why did Mom have to leave? It's terrible when Mom has meetings! Molly, that's not very nice to say. I'm trying my best. Fine, whatever, but now I have this pizza. What am I gonna do with it? Eat it, Molly. Ew! It hasn't been cooked yet! It'd be all smushy and weird. Yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> I made cookies! I'm the best dad ever, right? Dad, you burned them. Well, it's because you distracted me about the pizza. Well, who wants to eat a burned cookie? I guess I could eat a burned cookie. Just kidding, they're disgusting. Blech! I don't like them at all. Girls, why are you going to be so mean? I mean, I, I'm trying my best. Okay, Dad, but next time, can you just let Mom stay home? Oh, I'm never going to win. Oh, okay, I guess I'll just eat my sauerkraut salad in the other room. Oh, no. Now what are we going to do? What do you mean, Molly? Well, Dad's, Dad's obviously not going to learn how to cook, so... Uh, hopefully this pizza turns out good. You're pretty good at cooking, Molly. I'll have three slices. Who said I was sharing it with you? Girls, so you should share the pizza. Mom doesn't make us share. Molly, yes, she does. Okay, yeah, she kind of does. Here you go, Daisy. Ugh, these cookies really are terrible. Hey, I heard that. Hmm, the pizza's good, though. Girls, do you have to do your chores now? No. Yes, we do, Molly. Dad doesn't know that, though. Okay, well, I don't want to be the, the parent that everybody hates, so I guess you don't have to do your chores. Awesome! 
Dad, what are you watching? I was just gonna watch the news! Doesn't that sound so entertaining? No, Dad! No! What? They're gonna tell us all the cool things that happened today. Yeah, no, they're gonna tell us all the grumpy things, the bad news, the things we don't want to hear. Let's watch the brightly colored unicorn. No, no! Dad, you want to be a good dad, don't you? You gotta let us watch the brightly colored unicorn then. It's getting late. Don't you have to do your homework and chores and... Nah! Mom also lets us jump on the couch. Boing, 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 boing. Woo! That looks like fun! I'm gonna be gay too! Boing, 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 boing. Whee! Are you sure that your mother lets you do these things? Yep, we sure do! <laughs> guys, I'm home! Oh! Everybody hide. Where are you guys hiding? Girls? Daisy, get off the couch! You're gonna get in trouble! Molly, I, my foot is stuck in the couch cushion! Oh my gosh, let me help you! What are you guys, what are you guys freaking out about? Girls, what are you doing jumping on the couch? You know that's not allowed. Were you trying to trick your dad again? Um, uh, well, uh... He finished sauerkraut salad! It was awful! And he burnt the cookies! Yeah, we missed you, Mom. Girls, your father was trying his best. Um, I know he didn't make pizza, but he still loves you, and he was feeding you something nutritious. You mean burn cookies are nutritious? Well, I was just feeding you those because you seemed like you guys just hated me. Girls, I'm super disappointed in you. You should go say you're sorry to your dad. You definitely hurt his feelings. And do your chores and your homework right away before I ground you. Oh, Mom, Dad doesn't make us. Ah, oh, Molly, what am I going to do with you? Go say you're sorry to your dad. Nobody likes my sauerkraut salad. I guess, I guess I'm just terrible at everything. Oh, Dad, no, you're not. Uh, nobody likes me as much as your mom. Aw, yes, we do, Dad. We love you. You're the best dad in the whole world, even if you do feed a sauerkraut salad and burn cookies. Yeah, Dad, we love you. You're amazing. So my cookies and sauerkraut salad weren't that bad? No, they, they were bad. They were really bad. Yeah, Dad, they tasted like total garbage. Hey! But it doesn't mean we don't love you. You're a great dad. Yeah, Dad, you're a great dad. And maybe for Christmas this year, Santa will bring you cooking lessons. <laughs> yeah, that's a great idea. Okay, well, now you have to go do your chores and homework. Nah, Mom doesn't make... I know she makes you. Go start your laundry. Oh, turns out Dad is just an ordinary parent like any other. Yeah, that's why you think I'm so great. Ew, this laundry smells awful. Daisy, don't you have to do your homework and stuff? Well, I did most of it, but I'm gonna sweep the floor now and, and stuff. Molly, what are you doing? Throwing these clothes in the hot tub, Dad'll never know. Molly, I heard that. Huh. Man, Dad's getting good at getting ears everywhere and having eyes on the back of his head. Yep, he's just like Mom. Yeah, just like Mom. Ugh. So much stinky laundry. Well, it could be worse, Molly. We could be eating that sauerkraut salad again. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm just so relieved that my girls actually like me. Well, dear, it's not always about being liked. Sometimes it's just about being a good parent. No, it's definitely being liked. Make us pizza next time, Dad. <laughs> I'll work on that, Molly. I'll work on that. Molly, guess what? I heard there's a new student at Twilight Daycare. Really? Uh, is she nice or is she mean? I heard she's cray cray and super mean and no one wants to be her friend. Wow, that sounds super harsh. Why would no one want to be her friend? Well, they said that she's just, she's crazy. I don't believe what other people say. They're just probably making that up. Besides, <laughs> I'm pretty cray cray myself. Yeah, especially when you have a temper tantrum. Then you're really cray cray. Or when you need to eat a cupcake because you're starving. Yeah, exactly. And cupcakes happen to be my favorite. <laughs> I say we find this new girl and we try to make friends with her. I mean, 
She's probably super nice. Ooh, there's Mr. Monkey. I love Mr. Monkey. Maybe I'll introduce her to my favorite toy, and then she won't feel so alone. Aww. Oh, Maddie, that's super sweet. You go pick your favorite toy, and you can show her um, yours. But before we meet her, let's go to the kitchen and get a snack. Good idea, Molly. I'm starving. No one wants to be my friend, but I don't understand why. Oh, who's that? That must be the new girl. She seems super sad. Hi, um, I'm Molly, and... Oh, man, you're crying. Um, hi, I'm Amanda, and, um, please be my friend because no one... No one else wants to be. Are you the new girl? Um, yeah. I, I I just moved here from my old town. Well, I'm Daisy. And I'm Molly. And we heard that you were the new girl here, and we decided to bring you our favorite toys. Oh, that's that's nice. Um, but I really have to go potty. Do you know where the potty is? Yeah, I'll show you. Well, I need a drink, so I'll meet up with you guys in a little bit. I'm super thirsty. I need some milk. Um, wait, okay, yeah, it's over here. <laughs> For a minute, I forgot where the potty was, Amanda. So, how are you liking Twilight Daycare? So far, I don't like it a lot because no one wants to be my friend. They all said that I'm mean and crazy, but I don't really know what they're talking about. Me either. You seem super nice to me. Ugh, I'm super hungry. That monkey looks kind of delicious. Wait, what? You, you, you're kidding, right? No. I'm going to bite off one of his ears. I'm super hungry. What? No! Stay away from my monkey! He's my favorite best friend at Twilight Daycare! Oh my gosh. Maybe what they said was right. Ah, why is somebody silly stringing me? Princess Cupcakers, don't don't silly string me. Daisy, we have a problem. What? What is it? Ah, uh, that milk was so good. Now I kind of need a nap. Um, uh, uh, Amanda? She's, she's as crazy as we thought. What? We, we don't even know her yet. Trust me, I know her. She wanted to bite the ear off Mr. Monkey. What? Mr. Monkey? Oh my gosh! Yeah, and the worst part is, is I have to go to the bathroom and Amanda's still in there. I'm afraid to go back in there. I'm afraid for Mr. Monkey's life! Oh, wow. Well, um, I'm hungry now, so I can't help you. Good luck, Molly! Oh no. This Amanda girl, she seems kind of mean and crazy! Don't worry, Mr. Monkey. I'll protect you at all costs. Whoa. There's another little baby that looks just like Daisy. Um, She's going to think that is cray cray. Oh, good. Amanda's gone. All right. Now I can sit on the potty in peace. <laughs> Excuse me. I ate a bean burrito. Hey, little baby, go on. You're not big enough to go potty on the potty chair. There you are. I thought that you were going to just like run off on me, especially since I need to eat something. Now give me that monkey. What? No, you can't eat Mr. Monkey's ear. Get away from me, Amanda. No wonder she doesn't have any friends. Come on, Mr. Monkey. We'll eat a cookie and everything will be all right. I can't reach the cookie jar. Well, that's okay. I'll just put Mr. Monkey down and I will get a cookie and then share it with Mr. Monkey. Mr. Monkey, I've got a cookie for you. Amanda, put Mr. Monkey it down. I don't see your name on him. He belongs to Twilight Daycare. I can play with him if I want to. What? No, that's my monkey. Actually, he looks pretty tasty to me. You bully. G give him back. Absolutely not. See you later. <laughs> what a baby. Oh, my gosh. I can't believe it. Wow. Baby, why are you following me, me everywhere? I think I want to die. Okay, but I'm not your caregiver. Oh my gosh, that baby is following me everywhere. Mr. Monkey has been kidnapped, and Amanda the Adventurer is cray cray. I really, I really, I really want my monkey back. I really need a nap. Daisy, there's no time for naps. I, 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 I lost Mr. Monkey. What? What are you talking about? What, what do you mean you lost Mr. Monkey? Is anyone even paying attention to me right now? I lost Mr. Monkey! And I'm super upset about it! And there's this baby and he won't leave me alone! It keeps following me everywhere and... and hey. Okay, Molly, calm down. Tell me exactly what happened. I don't feel good. I had that temper tantrum and now my stomach hurts. Okay, Molly, calm down. Okay, I... <laughs> 
I'm trying to, but my stomach hurts. I need Mr. Monkey. Molly, who took Mr. Monkey, or did you just misplace him? I put him down so I could get him and I a cookie, and that crazy Amanda the Adventurer took him. Oh, don't be such a little baby. He can be played with with anyone who comes to Twilight Daycare. But everyone knows I like Mr. Monkey the best, Daisy. Molly, first thing I think you need to do is get some medicine for your stomach. What? No, I'm fine. Just kidding. Oh, man. Oh, boy, Molly, you just threw up on those babies. Um, ask the caregiver if she can take you to the hospital. Um, uh, caregiver, I need to go to the hospital. Okay, it's okay. Come on, right this way. I will take you right to the hospital. What seems to be the problem? Um, I'm not feeling so... <clears throat> oh, my goodness. Ew, totally gross. Okay, um, you probably just need some medicine. Here you go. <clears throat> ah, shoo! Ugh, that tastes terrible. Okay, but try not to throw it up, okay? But it tastes terrible! I don't, don't want to eat that! It's okay. Everything's going to be fine. La, 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 Oh, no, please, please don't put me to sleep. Ugh, please don't put me to sleep. La, la, Stop singing to me, lady. La, 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 la. Here you go. I also need you to have um, some of this delicious food. What? No, I don't want the food. Get it out of my mouth. I need to find, I need to find a man of the adventure so I can, I can, I can, I can get Mr. Monkey back. Oh my, did one of the other kids take Mr. Monkey? Yeah, and I feel really sad about it. Okay, well, let's see if we can resolve this issue. But first, maybe you should take a nap. You seem pretty sleepy and grumpy. No, I need Mr. Monkey to take a nap. <laughs> oh, poor little baby. All right, well, let's see what we can do about this, and then you can take a nap, okay? Okay. There's Amanda the Adventurer now! Well, it's not really her toy. Why does she get to have it? Uh, she had it first, Amanda. I think you should let Molly have it. Fine, whatever. Have it, baby. Now I can actually take my nap, because I have Mr. Monkey back. Mr. Monkey, I missed you so much. You're my best friend. Oh my goodness, she did? No, I didn't. I'm over here. I didn't take him. But but I'm sure that she did. She's, she's so mean. She's bullying me. Well, that's not very nice to accuse her of that. I think you need to go to timeout. What? No, not me. She has my Mr. Monkey. I can't believe I'm in timeout. This really stinks. Hi, Molly. Does this monkey look familiar to you? What? How'd you get... Wait a minute. You did steal Mr. Monkey. <laughs> and his ears are going to taste delicious. <laughs> mm, yum, yum. Mr. Monkey! No! Mr. Monkey! <laughs> Amanda, you're such a bully. <laughs> I built. It's amazing. Oh, Molly, I love it. You could almost go inside it. Yeah. <laughs> if I could, I would live at the beach forever. You would, Molly? I would actually just become a mermaid. i give up my human legs just so that I could get in the water. You mean like Ariel? No, Molly, the exact opposite. She wanted to be human. I want to be a mermaid. Yeah, we could. We could go in right now. Girls, stay out of the water. Molly, get out of the water. You don't know how to swim. Sorry, Mom. This is the perfect day, right, Daisy? Yeah, Molly, it really is. Um, if I never had to go to daycare again and Mom could just watch us all day, it would be the perfect day. Well, girls, I'm really sorry, but I actually have to go to work this afternoon. What? No, I don't want you to have to go to work. That's not fair. <laughs> Daycare's really nice. No, daycare's not nice. Oh, Molly, I think you'll...
you'll love daycare. You have the other times you've gone. No, there's a really rude daycare employee, and she's just, ugh, she's so annoying. She makes me sit on the potty. Yes, he took potty training us. I don't like it. <coughs> Marley, you're such a cry baby. It's starting to really annoy me. Ugh. I'm getting super tired. I need to go to the bathroom. I'm thirsty. Oh, I'm the crybaby? It's okay. Come on, girls. We'll go to daycare, and I'll make sure that you can go potty and have a drink, and then I'll be t going off to work. What? No, I don't want you to go after work. Mom, wait! Come on, Molly. You're such a slow poke. Mom, my legs are like 20 times shorter than yours. Okay, look both ways. Are you okay? Mom, your instructions were terrible. Stop, go, stay, go. Sorry, I just panicked a little bit. I noticed. Hey, put me down. I'm with my mommy. Stop it. Okay, Molly. Okay, it's fine. It's just another caregiver. Whoa, they've got a unicorn pony in, in the um horse pen right now. Well, maybe your teacher will take you over to see it. Nah, we never do anything fun. Girls, come on now. I'm sure you do some things that are fun. No, it's terrible. I hate going to daycare. Oh, Marty, you're such a crybaby. I need a drink. I have to have a good party. I don't feel good. Again, I say who's a crybaby? It's definitely Daisy. Hey, Mario. Oh, hello, Molly. It's nice to see you. You too. If we have to be at daycare, at least you're here. I'm gonna go play with some toys. Whoa, who are you? Oh, that's our new student, Luke. Luke? Oh, wow, he is super cute. <laughs> I like him so much. A whole lot, actually. He's adorable. Hey, wait, come back with him. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, there you are, hi. Hi, I'm Luke. I'm Molly. You're cute. You're cute too. Aww. Wanna be my friend? Um, yeah. <laughs> Wait, put me down. I'm hanging out with my new friend, Lou. Oh, you're so annoying. Here, just wiggle. There, see, they can't hold on to you. I have to go poo poo. Oh, Daisy, just go to the potty already. Goodness. Hey, put my new boyfriend down. Boyfriend? I thought we were just friends. Me thirsty. Here you go, it's okay, just drink your bottle. Oh, good baby. Luke, we're getting carried somewhere. Where do you think we're going? It looks like we're gonna go to the beach. This looks like fun. I was already at the beach this morning. I'd rather hang out with Luke though, so I guess I'm gonna go wherever he goes. Luke, where are you gonna go? Let's go over here. Okay, are we supposed to go this far away though from the caregivers? I don't know, but they're kind of annoying. Let's just go spend time over here. Together. Oh, Are we going to make a sandcastle together? OMG, I think I'm in love. OMG, I think I'm in love. Uh, Luke, did you just hear me singing that? No. Why? What were you singing? Uh, nothing. It's kind of embarrassing. Look, I got a rubber ducky. I kind of want you to have it, though. Really? Why? Because, um, uh, uh, I like you. What? You, you like me? Seriously, you do? Yeah, you're really cute and you seem really nice. Well, we've only known each other for five minutes, but I love you! <laughs> Wait, you love me? Oh, uh, I, I don't know about that. I don't know if I like girls anymore. Bye! Wait, what? What just happened? He doesn't like me? I want my mommy. Whee! I love this unicorn. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. Hey, put me down. Whee! I need to talk to my sister. Stop it. I need to talk to my sister. Daisy, that Luke boy, I, I, I didn't talk to you. Oh, yeah, Luke, who's that? Oh, sweet little 
snoring a lot. You might need a nap. You might need a nap, lady! And and and, and a bottle, too! Whoa, Molly, you're gonna be in time now. <gasps> Who's that? He's adorable! You mean Luke? No, he's not adorable at all. He's rude and I don't like him! Molly! I think he's handsome. No, no you don't! Take that back! No, I really like him. S stop! Stop! Stop saying that! Stop it right now! Oh, boy, I'm getting kind of tired. But nothing can keep me away from my new crush. You're not allowed to have a crush on Luke! I do, though. Hi, I'm Luke. What's your name? My name's Daisy. Why are you so sad? I'm not sure I really like to spend time with girls. There was this girl, she said she loved me, and I'd only known her for five minutes. Ah, oh, this horse is putting its bum bum on me! I need to go potty, but I'd rather pee pee my pants than to miss this. Oh no, there's the girl! Oh, that's just my annoying sister. Don't pay attention to her. Now, what were you saying? You're dreamy. What? No! You two can't fall in love! It's not fair! I want to love Luke! I, I was right! Girls are crazy! Both of you! Ah! What did I say? He's just a boy. Boys are weird sometimes. I think so too. Wait, not really, but why, why did he think you were so crazy? Because I sort of fell in love with him. I had a baby crush on him. Oh, yeah, but if you only know him for five minutes, how'd you know? I don't know, I just did, okay? Why's everybody got to question me? Well, because, Molly, that doesn't make much sense. It does make sense! When you love somebody, you love them! Well, he obviously doesn't love you back, so your heart just needs to be broken. Really? Ah, but right now, what I really need to do is go poo-poo! gym and work on my um jump shot but molly gym class is over i don't really have anything to study and i prefer staying in the gym study hall is so boring okay well suit yourself i don't want to be late bye bye i think i did awesome in the just this gym class i um got so many baskets it was awesome you think you actually did good who said that Oh, should have known it was Sarah. Sarah, I don't want to talk to you right now. Did you just throw that ball at my head? No, not really. <laughs> Kinda, sorta, maybe. That was rude. Sorry, um, I did, really didn't mean to. Well, I'm the best basketball player. Everyone in gym class saw it today. No, they didn't. You know I'm a great basketball player. I even made it onto the team. What team? There's only a boys team. Yeah, but one time I dressed up as a boy and then tried out for the team and I made it. I don't believe you. Whatever. Look at that. I just got another one. You're just a loser. No, I'm not. I'm great at basketball. Pff, whatever. I'm great at cheerleading. I'm great at all of my schoolwork. I'm great at everything, including basketball. Yeah, okay, if you say so. If you don't think so, why don't we just have a competition? Yeah, okay, we can have a competition. Whoever gets the most baskets wins. Yeah, um, let's say in one minute. One minute? I'm like guacamole. That's not very much time. What are you, chicken? No, I'm not chicken. I can do it. Then let's get started. I'll go first. One, two, 
factory. Oh my gosh, she's getting so many baskets. How am I gonna ever win? Oh, I wanna be the best basketball player. She always bullies me and I wanna show her that I'm good at something. Okay, Molly, you can do this. You can do this. Time's up, I got 50 baskets. 50? Holy guacamole! Your turn, loser. You can't keep throwing baskets. Your turn's over, Sarah. Sarah! Okay, whatever. You're so annoying. On your mark and set, go. One. Two. Oh my gosh, I've gotten every one so far. I'm doing really good. Oh no, I missed that one. It's okay. I'm okay. Watch this. Oh, yeah! <laughs> that was amazing. Your time's almost up. Okay, I've got, I've got to do more. I've got to do more. <laughs> 51, 51. I win, I win. Oh, yeah? <laughs> now who's the loser? Ah, oh, Sarah, you, you pushed me. Oh, I hit my head. I don't feel so good. Uh. Oh, sucks to be you. I'm out of here. Molly, you're gonna miss English. Molly? Ma Molly! Oh my god, Molly! Somebody call 911! Okay, let's see. Molly. Hmm. Okay, are you the sister? Yes? <laughs> Is he gonna be okay? Well, your sister actually suffered a pretty bad bonk on the head. I know, Sarah pushed her. She got in school suspension for it. Wow, sounds serious. Well, um, I don't know about that drama, but your sister got a bad concussion and now has amnesia. Amnesia? Is that where they can't remember who they are? That's exactly what happened. I don't know if your sister's memory will ever return. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Who am I? You're Molly! Don't you remember? The best thing you can do is try to jar her memory. Ah, but I don't hold a lot of hope for your sister. Well, thanks for the positivity! Ay, yeah, yeah, the doctor's around you. Who am I? You're Molly! Who am I? You're Molly! Who are you? I'm Daisy! I'm Daisy. No, you're Molly. You're Molly. I'm Daisy. No! You're Molly! Who am I? Oh boy. Baby, if I remind you with some of the amazing memories we had together. I remember one time like it was yesterday. We are um, having our summer break starting today. And we're at the lake. Yeah, we're going to have so much fun. Daisy, I didn't ask you, ask you to be in this scene. Well, I'm a part of this channel too. I could be in it if I want to. Okay, close up of just me because I don't want my sister to be in it. Molly, rude! Ah, oh, fine. I guess you can say hi too. Of course I can, Molly. Hi, everybody. It's Stacy, the star of the show. No, I'm the star. No, I'm the star. No, I'm the star. Molly, seriously, can we both be the stars? Nope, just me. Whatever. I'm going to go get in the water. I can't deal with my sister anymore. This is going to be the longest summer break ever. I'm already missing school. Yeah, you would miss school. It's just like you to miss school. Ooh, the lake feels awesome today. Yeah, it's nice and warm. Ah, this is the life. When I grow up, I'm just going to be on vacation permanently. Molly, you have to have a job. No, I don't. Who says? Um, well, if you're going to be able to afford to come to the lake every day, you got to have money. Ugh, there's that naggy thing about having money. I wish I could just, like, chill out all day long. Molly, what are you doing? I'm starting a fire so we can roast marshmallows. Ugh. <sighs> Don't get in the cooler, Mom didn't say. Molly, she could have something to drink if she wants. Just because she's little, she's still thirsty sometimes. Don't you want a baba? No, I can't get to buy a soda. Soda? Ugh, you're so grown up, baby Kira. Molly, do you remember me now? Huh? Who, who's Molly? Molly, you're Molly. Do you remember yourself? Who are you? I'm your sister, Daisy. Okay, I'm going to have to tell her more memories. 
I also remember when... <laughs> Baby Kira, I promise it's really not that bad. Our dentist is so nice and... And, and well, it doesn't hurt or anything. She's freaking out. It's no use. Hello, who's next? Oh, Molly, Daisy, and a brand new patient. Baby Kira. Yeah, my sister is freaking out. Well, come on, baby Kira. Let's see if we can turn that frown upside down. I got good dentist. No, I freak out. No, no, no. You won't freak out. Come on, I'll hold your hand. La, 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 la. My sister is freaking out. I'm going to sit here with her, though, because I'm a nice big sister like that. Okay, baby Kira, dry your eyes. Everything's going to be fine. Okay, I try. You know what always makes a lot of my patients feel better? A new little friend. I got a monkey. Whoa, I never got a monkey. I want a monkey. You're a big kid now, Molly. But baby Kira is, well, just little. How about this adorable monkey? Do you want to give him a squeeze? Maybe a little hug? I got him. I, I named him uh, Marvin. Wow. <laughs> That's a very interesting name. Marvin the monkey. Okay. What's his name for sure? Marv. Oh, okay. Marv the monkey. I got monkey go kill. All right. Now those tears are drying up real quick. Now we're going to tickle your teeth. That's right. Tickle, tickle. <laughs> I just realized that my dentist is a little cray-cray, but it's all right. She's super nice, right? I think. Am I going to have to have a real canal? I hope not, Molly. <laughs> and I'm crazy for teeth. I love teeth. I love teeth. I love teeth. Yes, I do. I love teeth. How about you? Brushing, flossing, make them shine. That's how I've kept my teeth of mine. Wow, Dr. Payne! Good thing you became a dentist because your singing voice is well. Oh, <laughs> I know I'm not the best singer, but I'm happy to be a dentist! Well, if that's your calling in life... I don't, I don't want you anymore. Oh, I haven't even tickled your teeth yet! Okay, let's tickle, tickle! Tickle, tickle, tickling your teeth! Huh, well, I guess baby Kira isn't so sad anymore. Look at her face! And her teeth are super shiny and white! <laughs> I think that she's going to love the dentist from here on out. Okay, baby Kira, you're all done. Uh, and just for being a good girl, I'm going to give you a coupon for a free donut at Starbucks. I get donut! You hear that? I get donut! Oh, wow. <laughs> is it my turn next? Sure is, Molly. Okay, let me take a look. Hmm. Have you been brushing? Uh-huh. And flossing? Uh, well, um, uh... Molly, you haven't been flossing? That's disappointing. I know, I'm sorry. I'll try harder. What's this blue stuff in between your teeth? Uh, uh, blueberries, yeah. Um, More like blueberry icing from a blueberry donut. I'm very sorry, Molly, but you have a cavity. What? What? A cavity? Oh, no. Yep, I'll just need to give you a little bit of a shot. Nope, nope, I'm out of here. Uh, it's Daisy's turn! Daisy! Molly, it's your turn! Come on! Next time, maybe you'll floss and eat less donuts. Oh, man! Molly, do you remember who you are now? Mm, this is good. What is this? It's called a hot dog. But do you remember who you are? Mmm, hot dogs are delicious. No, I still have no clue who I am. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, I also remember when... It's okay, Molly. It'll pass in a minute. Oh my gosh, it's like raining so hard. Let me under there too. You losers need to move over. She already told you our name isn't Loser. Look, Molly, the sun is coming out. Yeah, only one problem. The entire park is flooded. Oh man, this totally ruined our amazing summer park day. Only if you let it, Loser. Um, seriously, can you start calling me Molly? I don't like being called Loser. We could do other cool things. I thought we were Losers. You want to hang out with us now? Well, there's no one else to hang out with. Come on, 
Let's do a dare. I don't think so. That sounds like a really bad idea. We sh it's raining again, Molly. Maybe we should just get going home. No, Daisy, I don't want to just give up. I mean, we only have so many summer days, and then it'll be school time again. True. Okay, Sarah, what's the deal you're thinking of? I'm thinking that you should um swing as high as you can and then jump off. That's a terrible idea, Molly. Don't take the deal. I dare you, Molly. Um, yeah, I, I don't think that's such a good idea. I double dog dare you. Whoa. This is getting serious. A double dog dare? I triple dog dare you. Molly, don't listen to her. Nothing's worth a triple dog dare. Daisy, it's a triple dog dare. I'll be the biggest chicken on the planet if I don't do it. Okay, fine. I take your triple dog dare. Everything's gonna be fine, Daisy, anyway, because literally, I'm gonna just land in the water. Molly, I think this is such a bad idea. No, nah, it's gonna be fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Molly? M Molly? Oh my god, she's under the water, Molly! All I can see is her little face! Molly? Molly? Molly! Oh my god, Molly! Okay, I'm gonna take her sunglasses off and see if her eyes are open. Whoa, I think she might have gotten hurt or something. Figure she would jump over here towards this giant concrete block. Duh, that was silly of her. Don't pick on my sister, she's obviously hurt! Molly, see something, anything! Look at her leg, it looks broken! I'm sure she's just fine. I mean, she looks sort of... Well, okay, yeah, no, she's not fine. You better call 911. This was all your fault, Sarah, for double dog daring her. Okay, Molly, I'm gonna call an ambulance. Everything's gonna be fine. Just hang on, Molly, hang on. 911, what's your emergency? Um, yes, I'm trying not to panic, but my sister's at the park and... <sighs> I'm sorry, you need to stop crying, ma'am, so I can hear what you're saying. Okay, um, my sister jumped off the swing at the park in downtown Brookhaven, and she fell, and I think she hurt her leg, and she's not saying anything. Okay, ma'am, we'll be there as soon as possible. Thank you so much. Bye. Sarah? Oh, I just figured she would run away. She wouldn't want to fess up to double dog. I mean, triple dog tearing my sister. Oh, my gosh, Molly. Wait, I saw her leg move. Molly? Molly? Say something, Molly, please. What, what happened? Ow, my leg hurts. Ah. <laughs> Molly, it's going to be okay. The ambulance is going to be here to take you to the hospital. What happened to me? What happened? Molly, you jumped off the swing and, 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 and you got hurt. Hello? So I'm totally here to take your sister to the hospital. Whoa, you look so much like this girl Sarah that I know. She looks grumpy too. Well, my job is really hard. I just have to pick up people all day and they're super heavy. Um, okay. Molly, we're just gonna get you on the stretcher now, okay? Oh, my leg hurts so bad. <laughs> It's gonna be okay as soon as you get to the hospital. They'll give you something for the pain. Okay, so like totally hold still. I don't need you to break your leg any worse than it already is. Don't worry, I can't even move. It hurts so bad. It hurts so bad. Ugh. Okay, like everybody hold on because this might be a puppy ride. Molly, it's gonna be okay. I told you you shouldn't have taken that triple dog deal. Well, I didn't see where I had a choice. I mean, it was a triple dog dare. Molly, you always have a choice. Don't be ridiculous. Now look at the boat you've got yourself into. Daisy, can you not yell at me right now? I really don't feel good. Okay, Molly, sorry. Just don't do it again, okay? I think I've learned my lesson, okay? My leg is broken. <laughs> Uh, yeah, could I have a large latte, please, and a cheeseburger? I'm sorry, we're all out of lattes. Uh, I could still give you the cheeseburger, though. Fine, just give me a regular coffee and the cheeseburger. Seriously? My leg is broken and you've decided to stop at the drive-thru? Oh, I'm having the worst day ever. Molly, are you even listening? <laughs> Molly, wake up! Huh? What? Nurse! Nurse! There's a crazy lady in here yelling at me! That crazy lady is your sister. I have a sister? Where? Where is she? I'm your sister, Daisy! Oh, this is no use. Okay, I have one last memory to share with you. Then I'll have to let you go forever. <laughs> oh, sorry. I didn't mean to let that go. <laughs> I thought we were talking about letting things go. Ew, it smells horrible! Okay, fine. I'll stay here and tell you that even though you fought it and it smells awful. Daisy? Is, is that you? 
Molly? Uh, are you okay? Daisy, I remember you! Oh, I'm so happy! Although for a minute there, I thought maybe I would get rid of my annoying sister. Do you really want to get rid of me? <laughs> Just kidding! Oh my gosh, I remember everything! Sarah pushed me, and I fell and hit my head! Oh, she is a horrible bully! Yeah, she got in school suspension for that one. Only guacamole she did. Yeah, and you better rest, Molly. I don't want you to strain yourself. Does that mean I don't have to do any homework? Yep, not until you feel better. Then I feel terrible! For at least another week or so. Oh, Molly. Same old sister I've always known. Be home for dinner. Oh, hey, Mom. I'm going to be a little late tonight because um, I got a call and the fire station is looking for volunteers to help feed the homeless and, and they're giving them out free like peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and chips and stuff. So is it okay if I go over there? Oh, sure, Luke. That sounds amazing. Wow. Luke actually volunteers to help the homeless? Ah, he's the best guy ever. Okay, honey. Well, I'll see you when you get home. Bye. Bye, Mom. Uh, hey, Luke, I couldn't help but hear you talking to your mom about um, how you were going to go help over at the, at the fire station. Uh, I, I would love to come help you. Oh, you would? Wow, Molly, that's great that you want to volunteer. Yeah, I have a heart of gold. Well, we have to leave right now. Do you want to ride? Yeah, I'd love to ride in your new car. It's amazing. Wow. <laughs> your family must have a ton of money. Yeah, but money's not that important to me, Molly. Helping people is so cool. Aw, you really do have a heart of gold. I try, Molly. I'm not perfect, but I like to consider myself a good person. Me too, Luke. Me too. You want to listen to some great music? I sure do. Let's do this. <laughs> I love this song. Me too. Wow. We have a lot in common, Molly. Yeah, I know. We really do. What? Why are we at the cemetery? Oh no, I'm just parking here because I don't want to be in the way of the fire trucks in case there's an actual fire. Oh, good point. Okay, where's all the homeless people? Don't worry, they'll be here soon enough. Ugh, they really need these peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. They sometimes go days without snacks or food. Wow, that's terrible. Makes me really appreciate everything that I have. Oh, hi. I'm really hungry. I need something to eat. Oh, no problem, miss. I've got peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Lay's potato chips, and also you can have an orange or an apple. Which do you prefer? Well, my teeth aren't so good anymore, so an orange is way too crunchy. Um, I mean, an apple's too crunchy. I'll have an orange. Sorry, I'm not thinking quite straight. I haven't eaten in three days. Three days, Jiminy Cricket! I'd be lying on the ground if I hadn't eaten a cupcake in three days. Molly, try not to say mean things. Oh, I'm not trying to be mean, I'm just saying. That's a long time to go without any sandwiches or fruit or anything. I'm so sorry you're going through this. How can I help you? Wow, Molly's a great person. I really like her. You do? Wow, it seems like you two are the best of friends and you should probably be dating. Oh, <laughs> well, uh, uh. Um, yeah, um, <laughs> um, I'm not sure about that, but I mean, Luke, you are pretty amazing. You are too, Molly. What? She has a crush on Luke? I have a crush on Luke. I have to do something to destroy this. Oh, look, there goes Sarah. Sarah! Oh, don't bother. She's probably got her own agenda. So, uh, Molly, do you want to ride home? Yeah, as soon as we finish up here, that sounds amazing. I'd love a ride home. See what I mean? You two belong together. Thanks for the sandwich! <laughs> um, either she's a singer, or she went a little crazy over the PB&J. <laughs> Time to ruin Molly and Luke's new special relationship. Ugh, makes me want to barf. Dear Molly, you are ugly and dumb, and I'd never go out with you in a million years. Love, Luke. Ha 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 
<laughs> now I just have to deliver this to Molly's house and boom, it'll all blow up in their faces. La 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 la, I'm so happy. Molly, what has gotten into you? Oh my God, two bunnies are kissing. That's adorable. Love is the best, love is the best. I love love. Molly, what on earth has gotten into you? What do you mean? Everything is beautiful. You're singing like a lunatic, seriously. <laughs> Ooh, I was so excited I farted. <laughs> Ew, Molly, gross. Now seriously, what's gotten into you? Besides the bean burrito I ate for lunch? <laughs> oh, brother, yes, besides that. Um, well, Luke likes me. He likes me. He really, really likes me. Oh my god, you have a crush on Luke! And turns out, he has a crush on me too. Our relationship is going amazing. It is? How long have you been going out? Um, about... Well, we haven't actually officially said we're going out yet. Oh, so you're not even boyfriend and girlfriend yet? No, but we're gonna be. He's gonna be amazing. I've loved Luke since kindergarten, if I'm being honest. Who could that be? I bet it's Luke. It's Luke. He can't be away from me more than, than for more than like 30 minutes. Oh, hello. Uh, why are you saying that like you didn't know you came to my door, Sarah? Oh, I just, I wasn't, yeah, okay, yeah, I knew I was coming here, but I'm always disappointed to see you. Um, okay, thanks. Come in, I guess. I have this special delivery from Luke for you. Seriously? He, like, had you bring me an old-fashioned letter? Guacamole, that is, that is the sweetest thing ever! Yeah, um, open it. I, I want to see what he has to say. Wow, never took you as a hopeless romantic, Sarah. Dear Molly. Huh, just the way it's written there. Molly. Molly, he just said your name. Yeah, I know. He said my name! Okay, whatever. Just read the letter. You are ugly and dumb? <laughs> and I would never go out with you? Luke? What? Oh, wow. Guess it's not a happy ever after, after all. <laughs> Sarah, get out of my house! Whoa, Molly, chill out. Well, she's being so rude to me about it. I mean, Luke and I, we're meant to be together. I don't think so. Pretty sure that's not the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> I can't believe this. Oh, Molly, it'll be okay. There's lots of fish in the sea, so they say. I don't want any other fish. I only want the Luke fish. <laughs> Maybe I just read it wrong. Maybe if I turn the letter upside down, it, it reads that I'm beautiful and he thinks I'm super smart and amazing. Okay, um, no, it's just hard to read upside down. It does say I'm dumb and ugly. <laughs> That's it. I don't want this heart. This heart is painful. <laughs> Goodbye, heart. I'm flushing you down the toilet. Ugh, why won't you fix, fit down the toilet? Oh, you annoying box. Okay, fine. I'll, I'll just throw it over here in the corner. I don't want to have this heart. I don't want it. I don't want it. These Reese cups are pretty good, I guess. Molly, you're eating all the Reese's. We were supposed to share those. We got those for Easter. I don't care what you want. Whoa, Molly, what's gotten into you? Did you bonk your head? Don't talk to me that way. It's rude. You're such a nice sister most of the time. I don't care what you think of me. I don't care what you want. And I don't care if I eat your Easter candy. Oh. Bye. Oh. Molly, what's gotten into you? Molly. Okay, class, today we're going to be learning about the love sonnets from William Shakespeare. What's that crunching sound? Molly, you know there's no snacks in class, especially loud, crunchy Doritos. I don't really care what you want. Molly, that's not appropriate to talk to your teacher that way. It's disrespectful. I don't care. I'm eating these Doritos. Molly. I worked very hard on this for you guys. I think you're gonna really like this lesson, especially since you have a crush on. Don't even say his name. I don't wanna hear it. And I don't care about love sonnets. I don't care about this school and I don't care about anything. Molly, oh, 
You're leaving me no choice but get, to give you detention. Uh-huh. Whatever. Can't hear you over my crunching. Mm. Delicious. What on earth has gotten into Molly? She's acting so strangely. This is not the sister I know. I mean, she can be a brat and a real pain sometimes, but she's not cruel. What happened to her heart? I, I feel like she stuck it in a box somewhere and forgot about it. Wait, something tells me that's exactly what she would have done. After she read that horrible note from Luke, she would have just taken her heart and, and stored it away and tried not to feel those horrible emotions. Good thing I have this heart detector that I built in my science lab. <laughs> I really do think of everything. Wait, why is it pointing me towards the bathroom? <laughs> why am I going into the bathroom? I said heart detector, not fart detector. Molly's heart? I knew she locked her heart away in her box never to feel her emotions ever again. Oh, Molly, why did you do this to yourself? Hey, where did you find that? Apparently you were trying to flush your heart down the toilet. I don't need a heart. Hearts are evil. They, they make you feel pain. Well, that's true, Molly. Everyone experiences pain at some point in their lives. But to just lock your heart away is, well, it's, it's sad. I don't care. I don't care about anything. Molly, listen. You also can't feel joy, or happiness, or laughter, or fun. What? Yes, I can. Look at me. I'm super happy. Molly, look at your face. You're practically a zombie. Well, I guess you have a point. Molly, this is not who you are. Really and truly, you're a good person. You have a heart of gold. And just because Luke broke it, doesn't mean that you should give up on life. Well, I guess you sort of have a point now come on molly let's restore your heart back to your spirit whoa my heart it's back oh i missed it so much except for that pain oh luke molly try not to think of those things as much maybe think about the fun things the happy things and well you could deal with the pain a little bit at a time. Yeah, I guess. I should have never locked my heart away, but this letter really hurt my feelings. Wait a minute, Molly. That doesn't look like Luke's handwriting. Sometimes I help the teacher grade homework. Luke has way sloppier handwriting than that. That looks like Sarah's handwriting. Wait, what? Sarah wrote me a fake letter from Luke? Why? Only one reason, Molly, to destroy your happiness. Are you gonna let her? No way! I'm keeping my heart for good! Even if it hurts sometimes. Good choice, Molly. Good choice.